Uh, in the first work package, I was involved in, in well, the first test. We was basically setting up uh, um, the requirements uh, for, the, for the system. Uh, I also worked a lot on integrating all these requirements from all these different angles, which is also one of the parts I really like about it. It's this, you have the, the human view, the human factors view, but also the engineering view. And then it somehow needs to be combined into one big system. Uh, and I really like this integration part and the communication between all the different, uh, uh, different backgrounds, people with different backgrounds. Uh, and then uh, for, the, for the second work package, we focused a little bit less involved. Um, but then uh, again, there was some need for communication between all the different uh, uh, groups of people, uh, all different backgrounds. And that's also where I, I stepped in again. So I uh, helped a lot with the, uh, the FCA vehicle uh, prototype uh, to sort of translate the, 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 the HMI design into something that can be like the requirements that can be used in the, the actual implementation phase and the development for uh, FCA and uh, else not. I think we've been able to supersede an interface which is a collection of uh, individual components. I think we've been able to create something that's really holistic, integral and also interdependent. Well, the interface is supposed to solve a number of problems uh, in autonomous vehicles, such as mode awareness, such as trust in the vehicle and also uh, maintaining the driver's autonomy while at the same time trying to convince the driver to change the driving mode for either comfort or safety reasons. So if the outcome of all the trials that we do confirm our thinking of how that interface should work then that's the best outcome that we can hope for. Firstly, maybe to understand the, the complete module and uh, after that to develop and integrate and um, show um, how the model communicate and uh, how the HMI explain this, uh, the warning inside the, the car. So after that, the electric part maybe could be a most challenge for me because uh, there are a lot of uh, current to understand and uh, in, the, in the vehicle. Uh, it's a big challenge uh, in order to uh, redesign uh, the logical architecture of the mediator project inside uh, the FCA prototype uh, in order to develop uh, the whole system uh, to test uh, the HMI. Uh, this is a big challenge because uh, there are several uh, components, sub-components, HMI components, uh, some commercial, some uh, prototypes, uh, for example the seat belt of the uh, Outlive and uh, some developed by uh, Sebastiano himself. Uh, this is a good uh, opportunity to integrate uh, by Capgemini team uh, the software and the hardware, uh, different hardware. I'm Alessia Knaus, I'm working for uh, Sensect and Sensect is part of the Mediator project and in Mediator we work on the automation state component uh, that is also um, uh, implemented in the Vionia prototype. Uh, the automation state component is uh, able to take in driving context information and the uh, status of the uh, internal car driving uh, system and uh, is able to determine the fitness uh, of the driving automation system to be able to show it to the driver and also to be able to take it in for the decision logic to judge uh, when uh, the automation system is uh, fit to drive uh, and also to be able to compare to the driver to see who is the fittest to drive. Yeah, so there are, I think there are plenty of opportunities with this approach that we develop in Mediator, uh, especially since the current system they're able to drive partly themselves, but uh, it's not possible to show that that much to the driver. So I think our system is able to gain more awareness to the driver because it shows uh, time budget, uh, it shows predictions like how much are you able to drive in autonomous mode. Or if you're currently not driving in autonomous mode, then when can you actually be driving in autonomous mode and activate it? And for uh, autonomous driving, it's uh, actually a really good opportunity as well because uh, awareness of the driving, uh, of the autonomous driving, is uh, actually uh, good for the drivers as well to be able to understand what can the driver do and how much time is left uh, when driving in autonomous mode, so that the driver can maybe focus on other tasks. Okay.